Pisces, welcome to Jamaican Scorpio Toro. Thank you for clicking in to see your girl in another one. Pisces, what's coming to you before Christmas? Let's jump right into it. Pisces, I am giving away a $100 reward whenever we reach 1,100 subscribers. So if you're interested in participating in that, please subscribe to the channel, Pisces, like the video, and comment win 100 in the comments. So let's see what's coming into you before Christmas. What you, should you expect before Christmas season hit? Thanksgiving has come and gone, Pisces. Time is, as a matter of fact, the year has come and gone, right, Pisces? How quickly that flew by. So let's see, give you an idea what you should expect, what's coming into you before Christmas. What is Pisces expecting to come to them before Christmas? What's coming to Pisces before Christmas? What's coming to Pisces before Christmas? If you don't want to participate in that $100 giveaway, it's okay, Empresses and Queens. Your girl is fine. Just subscribe anyway to support your girl. I'm trying to grow. And the death card has come out for you, Pisces. So before Christmas, expect a complete renewal, a complete transformation, a complete change. Something that's just going to come because you are either envisioning it, you're, you're making way for it in your life, you want it, or it's just a steady change that has been happening gradually. And you're like, you know what, before Christmas, I want to make sure everything is clean, my slate is clean, and I start new and fresh. This is the beginning of something new something transformative, something wonderful for you. The start, the, the opportunity to start fresh even before the new year comes in. So that's so good already, Pisces. Oh my gosh, Pisces, let us get some tarot for you to get deeper into what's coming in for you before the Christmas season and what transformation will be happening, what changes will be happening. Let's see what is coming for Pisces before Christmas. Ah, this turnover. All right, let's see. Okay. Wow, this came twice, literally. All right, okay, Pisces, let me show you what you have here. So you have the Eight of Swords, Pisces. And with the Eight of Swords, something is on your mind right now. Something is bothering you. And maybe that is why it's triggering this change that has to be happening. It's triggering this complete renewal. Something that you just have to die to. Something you have to give up. Something you have to start. Something you have to um, break down and, and, you know, start fresh with. Because something is bothering you. Something is on your mind. Something is upsetting you. Something is keeping you um, in a mindset of, worry right now nothing definitely is coming at you or hurting you it's just all in your mind in your thoughts you're thinking i need to do this i need to do this it's time for change it's time for change you've been thinking about it way long enough and that time has come for you to get that done before the christmas comes in then you have the nine of swords there you go something worries you so deeply it's worries you so deeply it's keeping you up at night it's keeping you in like a preparation mode like in a mode of just constant thinking and anxiety so it's time for you to stop worrying about it and say yes i now have confirmation i need to do this i need to change this i need to speedily go ahead and just give whatever you need to give up start fresh start new sometimes starting fresh and changing everything like this in the time that you have to do it can bring you stress and can bring you worry and can keep you up at night but don't worry that much Pisces it is in the cards for you so it is okay you will be fine and here you have the four of cuff what is in front of you is going to be better what is sitting right in front of you, Pisces, is going to be way better than what it is you have now, you're doing now, what you're giving up now. So don't let everything other cup bother you or the negativity seep into your mind. Don't concentrate on it because right now that's what you seem to be doing, looking at the negative aspects of things, looking at everything else, but what is in front of you, which is a blessing, which will bring forth a good change for you. It will bring a good change for you. Two of Pentacles. You will be very, very efficient at juggling between 
making the changes that you need to make and beginning fresh and new what you need to you will be very good at doing it you are good at multitasking you're good at doing number of things at one time so you can be flexible to make this change come in for you Pisces it is seriously not something that should worry you this deeply so go to bed and sleep and rest tonight knowing that change is coming and change is important and change is necessary and change is going to bring you something better than what it is you're giving up for that change so now is the time to get that done in your life pisces let's see what else is coming to pisces for christmas before christmas season what else is coming to pisces before christmas season what is coming to Pisces before Christmas season? Angelica, what is coming to Pisces before Christmas season? There you go. All right. So let's see uh, what's coming in for you before the Christmas Pisces. All right, good. Wow, you have the lovers. If you have been praying and manifesting and hoping and wanting change in your relationship and that's what you're afraid of, here comes the lovers. Everything is fine. You have someone that will love you, comfort you, be passionate towards you. Um, it's a soulmate kind of a connection. You have that love bond, that connection that's going to bring you through the season. So don't worry. I want to emphasize, do not worry. Then you have the page of one, someone that will love you, passionate towards you, someone very youthful um, in their uh, demeanor, in their approach, someone who just has a fresh thinking, fresh thought. So coming to you before the Christmas is just someone that will you will have and hold and someone that uh, respect your wishes, someone who is in sync and in tune with you. So the worry is not there. If you're worried about whether it's a breakup or a heartbreak or something that someone do for you and you're holding on to it and you're wondering where to go from here and how to start fresh because you have to start again from scratch. Something that you may have poured your entire life and heart into or years of um, just committing and dedication and loyalty and it went all wrong and you have to start fresh and new change is important just tear it down leave it alone heal your heart stop worrying the joy is coming because you have the right twin flame soulmate type of energy entering your life along with the love and desire that they'll have for you you are the high priestess here pisces you use your intuition follow your gut feeling you have your angel guardians guiding you and telling you what you need to do. Be no, just know that with the high priestess in a reading, man, everything will be all right for you because once you trust yourself, trust in it, trust your gut, trust what's going on, trust the process. And use time and patience to heal any wound and to go ahead and accept that change and, and move forward with it. Oh, wow, well, move forward with that change. Pisces, everything is coming in for you to do. You have the Knight of Cups coming in for you. Love is on your doorstep. Money is on your doorstep. So this is really something that deserve changing for. What you're giving up or what you're getting in return, woo, you're going to just wish you had before. And here comes the Five of Cups. Here comes the five of cups and we had the, the four of cups. So you have gradually moved from the four of cups to the five of cups where the worry and not concentrating so much because this is going in before the Christmas. So you have come in from recognizing that this is something you need to accept. This is something that you need to change and you're like, okay, okay, I see what I need to do. I see what you need to do. I'm, I'm just going to become unbothered about it and do what I need to do and accept it as is. Scorpio energies in here, so strong, spices. Scorpio and, and some fire energies are in here and of course ear signs. So go ahead and just be good with what's happening. Take it in, breathe. Six of pentacles, I tell you your money is set for you. Don't worry about it. Continue doing what you're doing. Do not stop because if you get discouraged and you get disdained with worry, you're, that's going to disrupt your whole heart process and your whole vitality and it's going to stop you from um, operating from in day to day and your activities will slow down nine of pentacles queens empresses goddesses you're blessed 
you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. This change will bring you all the increases you're looking for in a way that you will be comfortable, you'll be satisfied, you'll be proud. You'll look back and just like feel like that healing, that change. You'll stand in your high priestess energy, right? And you'll just focus on you. You're focused here on you. You're saying, I'm okay. I will be okay. I will stand with my truth. I'm comfortable monetarily. I'm satisfied. I'm proud of what I do. And so you have little to worry about in this scenario. Let me pull some oracles for you to see what else is coming for you before the Christmas season here. What else is coming for Pisces before Christmas? What else is coming for Pisces before Christmas? You can be comforted that this is a good read for you with the transformation. Change is necessary and change to bring new things, new thoughts, new processes, new things into your life, new love. So if you're worried about peacock, raise your standards. So whatever it is that this person did to hurt you, did to harm you, did to displease you, did to break your heart, did to cause you sadness and depression and all of this worry and sleeplessness, go ahead and raise your standards. Say, hey, I deserve better than this and I am better than this and I will receive better than this. Raise your standard. You're the peacock. You are beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're intelligent. You're of light. The peacock is one of the most beautiful animals out there. The most beautiful bird. When that peacock spread, oh my gosh, you just will flourish. The peacock is just a symbol of prosperity and beauty. You will flourish, you will prosper, you will come to find the loved one of your dreams. Raise your standard and your standard raised in the universe will now start bringing to you what you so very deserve. Oh my gosh, Pisces, subscribe to your girl. I'll do videos for, I do upload every single day and I go live every single night, Pisces. So between 10 and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live every night. Come in, ask your question. I'll be happy to tarot your answers for you. I'm doing a $100 giveaway. Enter, win 100 if you'd like to um, participate with that. Subscribe and like. But regardless, subscribe to your girl and help your girl out. I'm trying to grow. Thanks, uh, Pisces, for being here. Empresses and Queens, not respect, big up. Subscribe. Bye. See you in the next one, Pisces.